Hello, we're here today and I'm talking to Susie Douglas from Borders Ancestry, Ancestry Hour and also a stand that she's been doing at Family Tree Live called Crack the Code and it's all about old documents, which is Susie's passion. So Susie, what do you particularly love about these old documents from history? Is it like the, the kind of the primary evidence it's it the, gives you? It's the primary voice, yeah. going back to the original document and getting down to the nitty gritty that is in that document that has been written by the person for a purpose. So you're not reading a book where it's had anything no, in yet? No, you're not relying on a secondary, secondary voice that has been written at a later date. It's going back to the source, the original source, wherever possible. Yeah, and so with that, is it that also it's like the vocabulary, it's, re it's a very kind of a different world, isn't it? Oh, so yes. how do you actually tackle this crazy old handwriting? What skills do you well, need? I think the first skill is actually tackling the handwriting and getting to know the letter forms themselves. And then after that, it's down to the interpretation of what has actually been written and getting used to, as you say, uh, the different use of language and sentence construction and a complete lack of punctuation to be, yeah. to, <laughs> yeah. to be able to interpret what they're actually trying to say, what the message is that's in that document. Yeah, so obviously when, we, when we're looking at old documents it always feels like a luxury, doesn't it, to have, I mean, we, all, we all agree, to have an old document to look at. But what about those which are kind of absent from the archives, the ones you can't get a hand on? What do you feel about, do you feel like the archives that survive give a, what, what is it that makes a document maybe survive? What are more likely to survive over history? I think the documents that are more likely to survive are the ones that uh, are to do with financial, yeah. uh, financial recording, people wanting money, wanting paid, people suing people, so legal documents, statutes, uh, and this type of thing, or if someone's complaining about something. Back in the day, they didn't generally write something to say, having a lovely day, weather's fine. Yeah, too you busy know? for that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, it was more likely to be cold and wet, hungry, no food, please send. Yeah. <laughs> so Susie is a fourth generation family historian, which is something which makes me really jealous to have family history as a love in your family for so long. She's got a whole wealth and passion for history and family history. So earlier, before we started running the camera, she mentioned that a bin lid was the thing which sparked her oh, interest. Yes. So what is it about a bin lid? They got you to history. Well, in history, not rather than family history, yeah. but it was the bin lid because I was actually jealous of my cousins. My, yeah. <laughs> my, my cousin's uh, farm next door to Flodden Field, and when they were children, they were given a metal detector. Uh, well, A, I was jealous of the fact that they had a metal detector, yeah. and je second, I was jealous of the fact that they were able to go metal detecting at Flodden. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, is that allowed? <laughs> yeah, well, if you own the land, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> and then, of course, they heard that they'd found something, and oh, great excitement. Oh, they thought they'd found a shield. It's a big thing. Oh, it's big, it's big. Anyway, they ended up digging it up, and it turned out to be a dustbin lid. Um, but it was a very special dustbin lid. Yeah, of course, yeah. Because it had two handles. Yes. But that absolutely, from that day on, I was completely hooked about the whole idea of a Flodden and how the North has, is depicted in history. And just a passion for history oh, and absolutely. getting your hands General literally dirty. Listen, yeah. for a child, yeah. I was in cupboards, in boxes, and things. What is this? My first word was boat, my second word was why. Yeah, 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 that sums it up. <laughs> it does. Just about, yes. Yeah. But it's just a general nosy parker. Yeah. I was lucky because the house was like a museum. Yeah. So the papers were just left. They were left in boxes and, you know, you yeah. could go rummaging around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So Thanks, Ed, Susie. Yeah.